victim in this case, John Hernandez, died after he was held to the ground during a confrontation outside that restaurant. And the entire incident was caught on camera. Our Ryan Korsgaard is joining us live from downtown with how this could be the most important step in the trial. Ryan? Our legal analyst said a case like this really can be won or lost during jury selection. And right now, there are a lot of options. Terry Thompson sits in court as his attorney and prosecutors prepare to pick a jury that will hear the murder case against him. The day started with a long list of possible jurors, 120. It's up to the attorneys to narrow down that list to 12 plus alternates. By and large, adverse pretrial publicity and most pretrial publicity is adverse benefits the prosecution and hurts the defense. KPRC 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss says this is a key part of the case happening now. What both sides are looking for today are jurors who will not just understand, but will buy into their theory of the case. Terry Thompson and his wife Shauna, a former Harris County deputy, are charged with murder in the death of John Hernandez at a Denny's restaurant in East Harris County one year ago. You want me to hit you again? Uh, this is the cell phone video of that fight. It shows Terry Thompson holding Hernandez in a chokehold while Shauna Thompson helped. Hernandez, a father and husband, died a few days later. Justice is coming. Outside the courthouse, friends and family called for justice, even though Jennifer Hernandez knows it will not bring back her brother. It won't change anything. My brother isn't here anymore. So, I don't think that will change. And we know they've let 20 prospective jurors go this afternoon. The trial is expected to start on Wednesday. We're live downtown. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.